Hi, I'm David Essel with some good news. You know, you can be happier right now. We all can be happier right now. And I'm going to give you some ideas and thoughts and tips on how you can start to shift momentum with your mindset to go more into a place of happiness, even if we're struggling, because most of us are struggling in some way. Hey, I'm David Essel, uh, 43 years now in the world of personal growth as an executive coach, counselor, um, author of 13 books, uh, several of them number one bestsellers, so many more things, radio, TV that I do, but I wanna talk about getting you happier, lifting this world. Listen, comment below if you have any ideas on how what you do maybe, tips that you can share that other people can benefit from, and how you are happier now, or how you use certain tools to be happier when you're not feeling that great. Share these videos, do whatever you need to, because we are only here to help. So let me give you some tips, number one, What's your favorite song? What's your favorite band? What's your favorite music? Did you know that within 60 seconds of listening to some uplifting music, you now it could be something different for everyone. Maybe for some people it's country, other people it's gospel, other people it's rap, other people it's uh, uh, rock from the 80s. I mean, it doesn't matter. But grab your favorite song, your favorite band, your favorite album, your favorite CD, your favorite whatever it is that you got and listen to it. Endorphins are released in the brain between 30 and 60 seconds of your favorite favorite song. Number one, number two, dance. Dance like you're a maniac. It doesn't matter, crank the music. Get out of your car in the parking lot of anywhere. Crank that music up and dance. I swear to God, music and dancing are two quick ways to get you happier. Number three, write down a time in your life that was passionate, exciting. You could be eight years of age, riding on a pony. Maybe you were 50 when you did your first skydiving. Maybe you were 80 when you finally asked someone out for a date. I don't care, but whatever it was, a memory that you remember that exudes joy, exudes happiness, write it down on paper. You see, we have choices and happiness can be a choice. I'm struggling too in so many different areas, just like the whole world is. And I'm reminding myself of what I'm reminding you right now. Happiness can be a choice and we can instantly get ourselves out of a bad mood or put ourselves in a better mood by just a few of the things that we're talking about right here. And the last thing I'm gonna say is the next time you walk into a store, look in the eyes of as many people as you can and smile and say hi. Oh my God, rock those endorphins in your brain and in theirs if you need help, because I know it's very difficult times right now. Reach out to me at davidesselt.com or talkdavid.com. I'm in your corner. Yes, I'm right with you going through all the insanity that everyone is, and let's start being proactive so we can be happier even when things aren't exactly the way we want them to be. Talkdavid.com or davidessel.com. I'm David Essel with good news. Have a great day.